Hello, my name is Sean Brown, and this is Ship Combat for CS50. Um, I come from Plymouth, Massachusetts in the United States of America. So, here we are at the title screen, and I don't have any fancy pictures or anything yet, but I have the deck builder up, and basically this is going to be a turn-based card game. And if you click deck builder, I have uh, check boxes here. I have currently five cards, but I'm going to make more. I can check the ones I want in my deck, name my deck uniquely, and once completed, I can go back to the title screen, I can play, and I have a bunch of decks here that I can use. I'll pick my deck, player two can have a deck, and then we can hit play. Work. Oh, there we go. And then once you play, you can see now I have that's a little bit of my art, that's why the art isn't done. I'm going to have to get my sons to do the art, I believe. So here's armor. This is a match that's already in progress. So here's the armor remaining. Here's the broken armor. Again, my graphics, I apologize. Um, I don't have the card display up, but basically you can select three actions. You can fire, you can maneuver, you can repair. And when you hit end turn, you get a summary screen. So we've got one armor hit. You increase mobility and repair. Then you go to the next turn. And as you can see, the enemy's armor is down, his broken armor has gone up. And we can fire again. And I don't have a second player yet, but as you can see, we're knocking him down. Once I get the cards in here, it'll probably be a little more interesting than just clicking buttons. There'll actually be some strategy. And now that he's got no armor left, any further strikes will increase his flooding. <coughs> oh, no. Oh. So now he's got more flooding. And that's onto my to-do list is to add a flooding indicator. But we've hit, I think, seven flooding, and that's the end of the game. You sank the enemy ship.